One of the hardest things that I had to do in my adult life is take accountability. I had to accept my role in the process of heartbreak. So I was once married and I destroyed that marriage. I cheated on my spouse and he was not deserving of that. I was selfish at that time. I was a matter of fact woman believed that everything that I said was right. I muted him. I did all of that and I broke a man's spirit. I broke him down mentally. I broke him emotionally and I did what most women do. I resorted to the victim role. He did this. If he would have never did this, I wouldn't have done this. Very unhealthy. I was selfish and don't get me wrong. He definitely tried to start over. He tried to restore the relationship. I couldn't. Didn't listen, had poor communication skills. My uh, resolution process was horrible. I did not know how to come to resolutions. I was really my spouse's enemy. I was my own enemy as well. I knew I couldn't trust myself. I knew I was gonna hurt him again. And that was hard to swallow. Because I had to really tell myself that you ain't shit. All I knew at that time is do what is beneficial to me. I didn't understand what accountability was. I had to learn that accountability is living within integrity. Had I have lived within integrity, I would have never done that to my partner. I'm saying all of this to say that if you don't know how to be an accountable person, you're never going to get far. Your life is never going to be fulfilling and you're never going to be able to live at the fullest because you're always going to blame others until you sit back and say, okay, this is what I did. This is what my part was in the process. This is how I'm going to move forward. Whatever actions you place have consequences, whether good or bad. Who I am now is a result of who I was back then. My consequences, my accountability molded me into the woman that I am now. And once you start learning how important accountability is, I guarantee you, you will see life completely different. Get out of the victim mindset. Don't be a prisoner to yourself. So, this young lady here said a mouthful. I know that this is something that guys, especially in our space, the, the manosphere, the red pill space, whatever you want to call it, this is like a unicorn, what she's talking about. She, and I think some women don't come to this realization till much later in life, much later. It, it, sometimes not even till their 50s or 60s. That accountability, that princess concept that I do no wrong is prevalent. I have dealt with that with women my entire life. And it really takes a special woman. And that's kind of like to me as an ascended woman and a woman that basically had, doesn't really have those problems when she basically understands who she is and is living in integrity, like she said. And the fact that what, what she was saying, she admitted I ruined and that's so I know that's so hard for some women to admit they're wrong or be accountable. I destroyed my marriage. My husband tried to make it work. And I don't know how old she is or how long ago that was she was married. But the fact that she I think she said she cheated on him and he basically tried to make it work, tried to stay with it. And in the process, her not knowing that. I mean, him not knowing really any, I wouldn't say any better, but him basically wanting to make things better in the process kind of basically pushed her away and made her confirm her feelings. It basically confirmed her feelings that I didn't do anything wrong. He wants to stay with me and he wants to make things better. No, it was for a reason. My reasons were right. You know, so I'm not doing that resolution. What resolution? I'm perfect just the way I am. You're the problem demeaning him in the process, gaslighting him in the process. You know what I'm saying? Saying that things and he's probably some guys who don't really, especially when you're younger, that really are in love with women. They'll let stuff fly. They'll tolerate it. And in their mind, they're like, well, maybe it is me. Maybe it was something I did. You know what I'm saying? Maybe and not instead of being in their masculine you and you, a lot of you guys are like, hold her accountable, hold her accountable, hold her accountable. This man was willing to work with this woman despite cheating. 
because maybe that's his belief. So maybe he had a scarcity mindset. Who knows what it was, but he was willing to work it out with his wife and she wasn't so much there. So she continued to do the things because she felt that she could because he already forgave her and wanted to work it out. You see how that goes? It's basically showing her that he basically showed her that I don't care what you do. I'm going to I'm going to love you regardless, unconditionally. You can cheat on me. You can demean me. You can do this. She's like a, just whipping on old. That's why they say men are dogs. They really are dogs. You beating on this dog. You doing all these this thing, these things to this dog. And he's just coming back to you, coming back to you. You know what I mean? A woman that I think a woman that is accountable, that's willing to say that I was wrong. And this is what this is effective communication. It's not always about I know you guys are like beating down a woman, telling a woman not all women are bad, bro. But there is a, a, a issue where in our society where men basically have to own up to their shit a lot of times. You know, if not, it's feminine behavior. And that's what I encourage a lot of the men that I talk to on sessions. We have to be bone cold, honest with ourselves. We can't be like and it's not a diss so much to women, but we can't be like women and be feminine and just say, oh, I didn't do anything or this, that and the third or it's not it's not me. It's this person. No, we have to be bone cold, honest with ourselves and say, yeah, I fucked up. Yeah, that was some that was some bitch ass shit I did. Yeah, that was some whole shit I did. And we have to talk to ourselves and even talk to our partners who we know are solid. That's able to correct us as well. If you don't, if you got a bunch of yes, man, that's different. But it starts with you with knowing that you're bone cold, honest with yourself like, yo, I just did that. I just actually just tried to shoot my shot at this other chick and I got a woman at home that's loyal, if that's the case. But once again, let's get back to you women. This is something, really think about it. You might, you may have wronged your man. You may have like, uh, say, disparaging remarks to your man on a daily basis, basis and he sits there and takes it. But a lot of this leads to cheating. A lot of this leads to broken homes, so on and so forth, because eventually sometimes a man just gets fed up and it's just ghosts. And maybe that's what happened in her case. You know, she destroyed her marriage and, you know, trying to get back. Like she said in another video, it's too late. He found a man that he, he found him. <laughs> he found a woman that values him, doesn't disrespect him, is able to effectively communicate, doesn't stonewall, doesn't gaslight him, doesn't basically say, I'm not I didn't do anything wrong. Fellas, you can't you cannot make it work with somebody like that. If you're dealing with somebody like that, you can't have a serious relationship with a person like that. That basically their situation is not their responsibility. Their situation is what somebody else did. Guys, wake up. I'm telling you right now, I've been through it. You can't make a person. You can you can try to force somebody to be accountable, but a woman just like a man, we're going to do what we're going to do what we want to do at the end of the day, man. You just have, have to have the confidence and the power to know that you deserve better and you're able to move on. You know what I mean? Because it's nothing like, you know, being a solid person overall and know that you, you did the right thing and have the confidence to move on and know that there's somebody better. Because some people don't don't have that confidence, man. So that's what I, I appreciate her putting this video. I don't want to talk too much longer, man. You know, let me know what you guys think below. Make sure you guys like, share, comment and subscribe. Hit me up on Calendly and Linktree to book a one on one with yours truly. Purchase all my books and merch as well on there. And with that being said, this is wisdom. Peace be upon you all, the mercy and blessings of the Almighty. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out of here. Peace. It's God's beat maker. And I don't know. I will put a light in the sky for the G's that don't turn memory from God. Blessings we send to the ghetto you.